Hey everyone, today we are going to solve the lead code question Find the middle index in array? So you are given zero index integer array nouns. Find the leftmost middle index. So let's see the example. Um, there is a condition to find the leftmost middle index, but I think it's easy to understand the condition with an example. So you are given 2, 3, minus 1, 8, and 4. And the output is 3 um, because... Uh, so look at the left side of um, 8. So 2, 3, minus 1. So total number of these three numbers is 4, right? 2 plus 3 plus minus 1 and 4. So this is not include uh, 8. And then look at the right side of 8. So total number of right side is 4, right? So this is also not include uh, this 8. So both total numbers are same. So that's why in this case, um, 8 position is um, middle index, so that's why output is 3. And uh, our goal is to return the leftmost middle index that satisfies the condition, or minus 1 if there is no such an index. Okay, so let me explain with this example 2, 3, minus 1, 8, 4. And to solve this question, first of all, I initialize two variables, left and right. So left is total number of left side of um, middle index, and the right is a total number of right side of um, middle index and the left initialized with zero and the right initialized with total number of all numbers so 16 in this case and uh, basically uh, we iterate through all numbers and one by one and they uh, start from index zero so let's begin and uh, first of all we find two so every time uh, we su subtract current number from uh, right total so in this case 14 right and then after that check left total and the right total and uh, if they are same uh, we should return current index but uh, they are not same right so that's why um, after that um, so we find the two uh, so we add current number to left total so in this case two and then move next next we find three so we do the same thing and subtract three from right total so in this case 11 and then uh, check both total so they are not same so in this case um, add three to left total and uh, in this case five and then move next i minus one so total should be uh, 12 And then um, check both um, total, and they are not same. In that case, add a, a minus one to left, so that means four, right? And then move next. So now uh, current number is eight, and they subtract eight from right side, and uh, that is a uh, four. And then uh, check both total, so they are same, right? So in that case, uh, we should return current index number. So in this case, 0, 1, 2, 3. Yeah, so let's check. Um, so left side is 2 plus 3 plus minus 1 and total 4. And the uh, right side is, yeah, only 4. So looks good. Yeah, so that is the basic idea to solve this question. So with that being said, let's get into the code. Okay, so let's write the code. First of all, initialize left uh, with zero, and the right equal sum of all numbers, nums, and uh, start looping for i and uh, num in enumerate, and uh, nums. So uh, in this case, we can uh, take a index number and the uh, current number at the same time and then um, first of all subtract current number from right total so num and then check if left equal right if that true we should return current index if not the case and add a current number to left total so left plus equal and then num and then um, if uh, we didn't find the middle index, we should return minus 1. 
Yeah, so let me submit it. Yeah, looks good. And the time complexity of this solution should be order of n. So where n is a length of uh, uh, element in the input array. So that's because uh, we compute uh, the total number of all numbers in input array here. And uh, we iterate to all numbers like one by one. So that's why time complexity should be order of n. And the space complexity is uh, O1. So that's because, so we don't use a data structure, just a variables, left, right, right. So that's why. Yeah, so that's all I have for you today. If you like it, please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, or leave a comment. I'll see you in the next questions.